Gentlemen, once again, this makes sense for your company. My partner and I would love to have a specifically tailored program for your company up and running by the end of the month. The choice is yours, gentlemen. Make the right one. Well, at face value, it seems to make sense. It's just, we have a few reservations. Well, let's hear them. I mean, let's get everything out in the open. After all, we're here to make you money. Absolutely. Well, you boys talk a good game. There's just no questioning that. We're just a little leery of working with such an untested company. I'm sorry. Did you just call me a boy? Sir? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you meant nothing by it. Let's just, let's just move on and hammer out this deal. I meant no offense. Are we a joke to you guys? Yeah. Is that what's going on here? Uh, I'm sure that's not the case. Uh, you, you're both very lovely gentlemen. My, my partner just gets a little fired up sometimes. He had, he had a Hungarian nanny as a child. It made a very big impression on us then. I think we really need to finish up now. Oh, so we're finished then! Oh, so that's how you guys operate here. You know what? I'm not even so sure I want myself associated with this company. Uh, I just think we're done here. No, no, please. I, I know that this program can make your company a lot of money. I, if you just look at the program mm. and then, oh, not again. You know, maybe we should leave. That's a good idea. Yeah, Matt, why Let me just... tell you something, sir. This is America. And I will not tolerate your intolerance. What are you doing? Uh, my goodness. This is what happens when you mess with America. We are in America. Call security. Mm. Mm. What's the matter? You're not hungry? This pie is delicious with a milkshake. Mm. Mm. Both of them together. It's so good. What's wrong? Uh, you know, nothing. Just, uh, just thinking to myself what the chances were that the business that we've just presented to would look past the fact that uh, one of the gentlemen during the presentation took a horse-sized shit on the conference table of the business we were presenting to. And I, you know, really just wondering if they'd look past that and really focus on the nuances of the program. Really, you know, buy into it. And, and uh, I'm starting to think those chances are pretty slim. The man insulted me to my face. I know. I was there. He insulted me too. Yeah, and why are you more outraged, huh? What's wrong with you? Whoa, whoa. Do you mean to tell me that after you climbed on that table and began to defecate on it, that the predominant thought in your head is, hey, why isn't Ephraim also shitting on this table? Is that, is that really what you're saying? Look, all I'm saying is you're my boy, all right? I thought you were supposed to be. I figured you'd back me up. By doing what? Getting you a magazine? Making sure you had enough roughage before a big presentation? Ah, oh, you're just being ridiculous. Am I, though? Am I really? Let me just, just, just take a moment to look at it from my point of view. Just, just hear me out, okay? Go ahead. Are you not the least bit willing to admit that as a team making a business presentation, when one of those team members takes a shit on the conference table of the business we are presenting to, that that team member is putting the other team member in a bit of an awkward situation. I guess I can see that. Yeah. You guess? Oh, you know, I, I, I apologize. It's, uh, I, I didn't realize that relieving yourself during a possible career-making business pitch was, was such a gray area these days. You know, as always, your sarcasm is not appreciated. And it hurts. Besides, you're making a really big deal about this. It's not like this is something that I do all the time. <laughs> you do do this all the time. You absolutely do. I do not. I've done this two, maybe three, five. six times. You have shit on a piece of office furniture six out of the seven presentations we've had. And I wasn't at the seventh because I had the flu. So I'm just taking you at your word you didn't shit on something during that one. Just, just tell me they didn't like it. Don't just, just lie to me and say it didn't go well. It was a very rude. Man. Oh, oh. We have a check, please. Can't even. I don't even. I don't even words right now. That's not right. Oh.
What? What's wrong with it? No, it's nothing. They just they charged us for that meal we sent back. No. Oh. Excuse me. Waiter. Yeah, how can I uh, help you, gentlemen? It's no big deal. They just uh, they charged us for a meal that we sent back. Oh, actually, my sister waited on you guys, and um, she doesn't really get these things wrong, so it's probably the right. But why would we pay for a meal that we didn't eat? Oh, well, you know, my, like I said, my sister did it, so she doesn't really get these things wrong, so. Well, we didn't eat the food. Uh, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to pay for it. I have to pay. Is that how it is? Uh, yes. I have to pay it? You know, it's, it's, it's totally fine. We'll, we'll just pay for it. It's not, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> Sir, I am a grown man. You do not get to tell me what I can and can't do. What the hell are you doing? You know, it's fine. It's, we're, we're good. We're, we're going to be okay. Don't, don't mind us. This is America. There was something about those two. What do you think? They're perfect. <laughs> <laughs>